Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, this is actually gonna be a design space tutorial, but I wanted to show you what the final product looked like. So this is, oh, well, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, this is from Target. It is a s'mores little caboodle, pretty much. <laughs> so it says s'mores, Hershey's, this side is Hershey's, but the back side is blank, which of course, I put my daughter's name. So I uh, did it so it looks like a marshmallow, like a fluffy marshmallow with chocolate dripping on top. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So look at this kit though, how cute this is. So we're gonna open this up and you have a full pack of marshmallows. The graham crackers go here. This is a full box of graham crackers. This is a full um, little sleeve of Hershey Kisses. So it fits perfectly. It's a great gift to bring to someone's pool party or whatever it is. So I absolutely love it. And it's got a carrying case. It's, it's really sturdy. This will last through the years. So I'm super excited about it. I also like using the vinyl here. You can wipe down the vinyl. Um, so it should, you know, it should be really, really good. All right, let's flip the camera so I can show you how to do it in design space. So give me one second, move that aside, flip this over, <laughs> make this smaller so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so this is where I got the font. Oops, it's from Creative Fabrica. I have, oh my gosh, sorry, what is going on? There we go. I'm gonna move this down here. Okay, Creative Fabrica. You have the option of, and I'm gonna have the link in the description. You can just purchase puffy chips. I like puffy chips. I'm gonna show you how to make it you know, slender um, and all that. But you can either choose to just purchase it or you can try out the dollar monthly membership. So wait, let me take that back. You can try the trial $1 period. It's for a full month. You get to download whatever it is. You get to try it out and see if you like it. I personally love it and I have the monthly membership. If you choose to keep it, then the monthly membership will then um, automatically happen after 30 days. So you either need to cancel or you have the membership until you decide you don't want it anymore. All right, so you know, and I love my Friday fonts. So I've been picking a new font every Friday to show you all the different things that you could do with Creative Fabrica. Um, I get stuck on my favorite fonts, and so that's why it's also a way for me to discover new fonts. Um, so all right, let's go into design space. So once you download the font, you wanna make sure that Cricut is, design space is closed, and then you open up um, a new window. That way the fonts that you downloaded are now available in Design Space. So I'm gonna do Caleb and um, you just click on text box. You wanna make sure it's puffy chips and the way it comes in is it automatically pops up text. You need to double click it and just you know either delete and start writing a new one. I'm gonna do Charlotte because I wanna show you how I did that. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna measure your box, right? Your container to see how big can you go. So I'm gonna measure it really quickly because I didn't save my project the first time I did it. All right, so the length is about, it's just a little bit under eight and a half inches. So what you wanna do is, you know, you wanna be in that seven inch range. So it gives you, you don't want anything to go straight to the side because that's gonna add to the possibility of it peeling because your hands keep catching it. Uh, so you wanna make sure that the vinyl stays put. So I'm gonna make this about seven inches. So I'll do this one first and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I did about, um, and I think my first one, let me double check how, it's about, you know, actually it's, it's about eight inches. So let me show you what eight inches looks like. Eight inches means that the letter is only going to be 1.3 inches. That's not that big. And I ended up doing it where my, my letters were about two inches. So let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is you want to unlock it and you're just gonna stretch it out. So see, like I'm still under eight inches, but now I've gotten to 1.7 inch. And I'm gonna go all the way to maybe even two inches. And that's going to give you 
a more legible name, right? So that's why I was doing that. And this still looks good. It looks like a, um, a heated up marshmallow. <laughs> so, all right, so I wanted to show you that. Let's do it for this name. See, so, so this is two inches, this is 2.2, but it would have gone to 11 inches and that's too big for our s'mores box. So again, I'm going to unlock it and I'm gonna stretch it out to about eight inches, okay? So there's Caleb. And this little guy is, um, it's called a mug, a mug drip. <laughs> what? So what you wanna do is you wanna go to, into images. I did drip and I found this one right here. So let's look to see what that, it's called mug drip or you can see the actual image name or image number. It's M27D as in dog or drip, 4627B as in boy. <laughs> I was gonna say blood, cause I'm seeing blood drip. Um, so you select it, you add to canvas, okay? So here I have another one. So what you wanna do here is I'm going to weld this and that way it makes it one letter, okay? And then what I wanna do is I wanna grab this and I'm gonna put it over my letter and I'm gonna arrange, send it to the front so I can kinda of see what it looks like. So I like the way this looks. This is gonna be our chocolate and I want it something like this. Okay, and then I need one for my B. So I'm gonna make this smaller and maybe for the B, oh, mm, Let's bring it to the front. And maybe my B will look like that, okay? So what you wanna do is for this, you're gonna grab the two items. Oh, hold on. Let's duplicate the name. Cause the name we're gonna cut out in adhesive vinyl in full. Like we're gonna have the whole name Caleb. The drip is gonna be something that we add on top of it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these two and we're gonna slice because the drip right now is too big, right? But see, look at that drip. That drip is perfect, right? So this, we're gonna cut in brown glitter, car um, brown glitter vinyl. All right, so now I still have my B and I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna slice. So I don't need this. And I'm gonna need this. So here is all my letters. Um, this is my vinyl. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need this. I don't need this. So now I have Caleb, right? And I'm gonna do it in the colors that you know you're gonna recognize. Here's my white marshmallow. Here's gonna be my brown chocolate dripping because it's hot, and I'm gonna change that to brown. And then I'm gonna change this one over here like that and that's going to be brown and that's all that there is to it you're going to have picture perfect project super excited i'm going to cut it and i'm going to show you how to apply it all right comments questions let me know let me know what else you want to see but um this is a great gift and i'm just super excited to do it because it's so cute all right see you in a bit